So you already gone through your tuning, you got through your motion effects, but now you want to really manipulate some of the expressions you're getting out of your character a little further. So what I've done right now is I gone back to Unreal, I'm going to my motion logics folder and I'm going to select my curves folder. Now keep in mind for every shape that Faceware Studio is streaming, there is a corresponding shape curve. Um, and these curves are redefining how the shape face is applied to your character. So what I'm doing is going into that curve folder and I'm going to select a random curve and I'm going to show you guys how you can manipulate that further. So KJ, you can go ahead and continue. Playing back. All right, so out the box, you're going to get a nice little S curve here for your easy, your ease in, your ease out. Uh, but maybe you want to add some hand keys to it. So I'm going to add a key. As you can see here, you can kind of manipulate this a little further, depending on what kind of interesting action you might want to get out of your character. Uh, you can also completely eliminate your ease in and ease out and get a straight zero to one value if you want something a bit more quicker or a bit more snappier. Um, do keep in mind that the excess or the access is the value coming from Studio. This is typically represented by time when you're hand animating. Um, the input from both Studio and your curve describes what value gets sent to your character. Um, one of the most important things during this process that I like to tell clients is how important your original rig is before you use Studio. Uh, so basically what that means is if your character can't create an expression on its own, so you're in Maya and you're trying to hand key an expression, if it doesn't exactly work or you don't really have a great, you know, a smile working and actually KJ, would you be able to pause it right here? Uh, so, you know, just to kind of get this out really quick, if your character can create a specific expression, as I mentioned before, you can't hand key it, uh, Studio won't be able to make it. So remember, great character goes a long way. Um, just something to keep in mind when you are utilizing uh, the real-time feature through Studio. And with that, KJ, you may Playing back. Ooh, all right, so then this is where the magic happens. So right now, Kat is searching ABP. So um, there is a very special uh, blueprint that Faceware has built. It's called the ABP FW MetaHuman Body. Um, as a gift for all of our viewers, Josh Beaudry, who's been helping us answer questions, thank you, Josh, for that, is going to post the download link for that blueprint because that is the secret ingredient um, for merging body fingers and face together. So right now, as I play back, Kat is going to open up that blueprint. She's going to break the, um, the connection to the output pose, right click in the anim graph, type in live link pose, right? Um, connect the blueprint to the live link pose, select the proper XNs source, connect to the output pose, select the remap asset that we built together, and then she's going to compile and save. Perfect. Then she's going to go back into the project. She's going to click on Ada. Then she's going to come down here to animation mode. Make sure use animation blueprint is selected and then select that animation blueprint that she just edited. So again, Josh is going to set, share a download link for this animation blueprint so that it's very easy to connect body and face together. And so there you have it, folks. You've got one metahuman. You've got body, fingers, and face. Um, we hope you enjoyed the webinars. So.